Fighters, it's Friday, January 8th. Hitman Fighters, it's Friday, July 8th, and this week, I am currently reading Goblet of Fire. Um, I've not finished reading it yet because it is Wednesday. Um, I'm going out of town tomorrow, and I'll be out of town for about two weeks. Um, and I don't have my computer, and so I haven't been posting videos because my computer has completely died, and it is at Geek Squad, and it won't be back for a while. Um, so I'm sharing with my mom, and it's making making videos difficult. Um, I actually did film a video last week. But I didn't have time to edit it. So, yay! So, um, The Goblet of Fire is not my favorite Harry Potter book, but this is my favorite physical book. Um, we've been through a lot together. It has been re-glued countless times. Once I re-glued it upside down, which was not fun. And over the years, this book has become less J.K. Rowling's and more of my book. Uh, the writing in it is only a small part. Now it is memories and there is so much of me in this book, it's only half Harry Potter. And so this time when I'm reading it, I'm annotating it. So I want to add to this kind of um, half diary, half book. And before I got on the fire, I reread the other three Harry Potter books. Um, other three. The first three Harry Potter books. Um, and these are kind of like uh, Scooby-Doo-ish, I guess. And their plots, um, they're different from the rest of them in that way. It's all kind of, um, I would have gotten rid of it too, but for you meddling kids, and you have main do that. They're, they're less serious than other books. You don't, you don't have main characters dying and the, the characters facing as much as they do in the rest. Uh, it's all kind of, there is a problem at Hogwarts, and the trio has to solve the mystery, and it all ends happily. I think that works with J.K. Rowling's writing, though. And I think it all kind of comes to the pinnacle in um, The Prisoner of Asperance, which is the last kind of detective Harry Potter book. It kind of showcases um, the really good parts of J.K. Rowling's writing. Uh, she's great at details and at plotting and like, intricate things. I feel like reading this book, you can see all the foreshadowings he puts into it and all the and um and all the little things in the plot that she weaves together so perfectly. And it, it is one of my favorite Harry Potter books because it's just it's a really well put together book in general, um, even without being part of a series. I think the Prisoner of Aspen is one of my favorite film adaptations of Harry Potter. Too, because it captures the uh, mystery detective sense, so it's kind of like a film noir feel to it, which is very neat. And that's what to say about that. So questions, there's Kitty's question about, um, can we be reading books after teachers? And I, I'm, I'm a very stubborn person, and I have never taken a teacher's word as the law. I've never completely listen to the teachers. I've always formed my own ideas of it, and if it disagreed with their ideas, then I would shun uh, their ideas. It's not the best way to go out learning, but it was what I did. And I fervently disagreed with my teacher about The Great Gatsby. I hate The Great Gatsby. But this is quite a strange thing, and I feel quite alone in that sense, because everybody else loves it. I, I, I actually, I did enjoy it until the ending, and then the ending completely ruined the book for me. One, I thought, the uh, general ending did not fit with the rest of the book. It was not necessary, and it was, um, it felt cheap, I guess. And there are a lot of freaking symbols in this book, a lot of metaphors, and I think he treated the readers like idiots at the end of the book. And I'm, I'm getting emotional because I really hated this part. How he, can, he completely explains the green light metaphor. I got it. I already got it. I already got it. You complete the metaphor. You did not need to tell me exactly what the metaphor meant and exactly how it pertained to the book. And I, it cheapened it for me. It, it was sucky and I hated it for it. And I, I expressed this to my teacher. And um, me and the teacher already had a lot of arguments because all of his books seemed to include suicides. And I, he had, I, and he was depressing. I and mean, he was a downer teacher. He did not have a good view of the word. I'm, I'm surprised that he didn't commit suicide because he really loved the idea and hated life. Um, well, I'm getting emotional. So, um, we disagreed about this book and, uh, I, I did not like it. And maybe I, maybe I, um, and maybe I viewed this book through the perception of this entire class of people committing suicide. Blah! You know? But, yeah, that's my opinion. I'm a good Gatsby. Um, so I will not be reading it anytime soon. 
And Dan's question, are we what we think we are? And I don't, I don't think reality exists in a sense. I think our perception of reality exists. And you know, we are what we think we are. And separately, we are what other people believe we are. And that is all for this week. So, um, bye.